This How to Do Florida segment is presented by Visit Florida. Hi, I'm Chad Crawford. And I'm Chase Crawford. And today we're counting down our top 10 kid activities. And we're kicking it off with number 10 as we take you horseback camping. We headed over to Four Over Florida's Crescent J Ranch and we met up with Alan Perry, a real life cow hunter. We saddled up and headed out for our three hour tour of natural Florida. The sights and sounds of old Florida was all around us as we made our way down the trail. At last, we made it to camp. For a child, unforgettable memories are often cast in unforgettable settings. And as Casey and I explored the area around the campsite, I hope this would be one of those childhood moments she would never forget. Casey and I awoke to a beautiful still morning. And after breakfast, I was anxious to hear what Alan had in store for us. I have to say, driving cattle is an incredible adrenaline rush. Ha! Together, we quickly got the herd in formation and began moving them across the field to greener pastures. Stepping back in time to live and work as a real Florida cracker is not only an amazing way to reconnect with your state's rich history, but it's also a powerful way to reconnect with your family. Coming in at number nine, one of my favorites, skimboarding. Great for kids of all ages. Skimboarding can be done anywhere you have access to ocean water. You just need a few inches of H2O and a board. Otherwise, this activity is completely free. You're welcome. Keep skimming, yo. Coming in at number eight is sand sculpting. This is a great activity that can stretch the limits of a child's imagination. He's a sculpting machine. From castles to characters. All right, get me out of here. Anything is possible with the two ingredients found at every beach. That's sand and water. And half the fun of putting them up is knocking them down. Go! Get him, Cooper, get him! Hey, coming up on our top 10 kid activities countdown, it's one of Chase's personal favorites. It sure is. At number seven, it's swimming with dolphins. About an hour south of Jacksonville is Marine Land, home to one of Florida's very first attractions. Today, we meet up with Age. Hi, Age! Age is one of the many dolphins that have been part of the Marine Land family for generations. Smooth, with a little texture to it, but you can see why they can go so fast in the water. Their, te their skin is absolutely just silky smooth. What an inspiring and iconic place to bring the family and connect with these true Florida superstars. Hey, coming up at number six, one of my personal favorites to do with the kids, and that's tubing. A refreshing and soothing way to spend time with your kids. Tubing is a mixture of adventure and relaxation. Perfect almost any time of year. Tubing is a great way to unwind and spend time as a family. Cruise Lazy River style. Let's go! We're counting down our top 10 kid activities. Right now we're at number five, and it's car camping. It's camping for dummies as we travel to one of Florida's true gems, the Ocala National Forest, for a family camping trip at Alexander Springs. When you first arrive, here are some things to keep in mind. Pick a campsite with some shade, especially during the summer. Look for a site on relatively high ground. The ladies will appreciate this one. Pick a spot in close proximity to a water supply and bathroom. The spring was just a short walk from the campsite and the kids were dying to get in the water. With a year round temperature of 72 degrees, it's a perfect place to cool off. I was impressed to see that Alexander Springs had a full canoe rental facility right there at the spring. So we jumped in and began canoeing down the springs basin. Studies show that children who are regularly exposed to the outdoors show less signs of anxiety and stress. And family car camping in the Ocala National Forest was a perfect way to experience the real Florida. Coming in at number four is one of my favorite activities for kids. It'll have them out in the ocean looking for little small sunken treasure. Delicious treasure, that is. Are you talking about scalloping? I am talking about scalloping. Watch this. Dinhatchy scallops. Scallops are little nuggets of deliciousness. All it takes is an adventurous spirit, a snorkel, and a mask. You and your kids will enjoy a tasty treat that's both fun to catch and amazing to eat. Oh, man, oh, man. 
good. Chase, what's next? Coming in at number three is paddleboarding. With its ancestral beginnings in Hawaii, paddleboarding is one of the hottest new water sports around. All you need is a board, a paddle, and before you know it, you can explore pretty much any lake, river, or even ocean here in Florida. Here we go. When you first stand up on the paddleboard, you'll see why this sport has become so popular. The feeling of standing on water and being able to peer into an underwater, undisturbed world is truly an exhilarating experience and will have you coming back time and time again. That's a wrap. She says that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> we only have two activities left. Next up is a collision of art and sport. It's called? Gahitaku. Oh yeah. Gaitaku is the ancient Japanese folk art of painting fish. So what better activity for Chase and I to do than to catch a fish in the morning? What do you got, buddy? What do you got? What do you got? We got our Gaiutaku trout. And record or paint the fish in the afternoon. With the help of artist Jim Roberts, Chase and I created a masterpiece of the trout we caught earlier that morning. I'm gonna blend his, uh, mm. his gold. And now we're gonna lay the paper over the fish and start to do a rub. Gaiutaku is a great way to introduce kids to the natural world around them and stoke their creative fire. We started at 10 and we came all the way to 1 in our top 10 kid activities. That's right, this next activity will be a memory your child will never forget. And it will teach them to respect the natural world around them. You ready? Drum roll, you want to do it? <laughs> Manatees. It's hard to find a more iconic wildlife symbol in our state than the manatee. Nowhere in the world can you encounter manatees like this. Grab a snorkel, mask, and wetsuit. Let's go, buddy. And hit the water to experience these gentle giants up close. For being so big, these creatures move with such grace. Seeing these creatures up close has given me a new understanding of the importance the manatee serves to the Florida ecosystem. Nowhere in the world can you encounter manatees like this. So if you haven't already, I encourage you to get out and get to know these Florida iconic gentle giants. This How to Do Florida segment was presented by Visit Florida.